Hi everyone, it's Leslie and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about something that I've been doing lately with bracelets, which is inserting a 4 millimeter Swarovski bicone into peyote stitch. And I've been doing this in bracelets, but you know, you can do this in kind of, this is kind of an effect um, you can do in a variety of work. So I'm going to kind of leave it up to you what you want to do with it. I'm going to show you how to do it. And then I hope you'll post some pictures of what, what ideas you've come up to with to do it. To show you how, I'm, I've, I've, um, I've made a little strip of peyote. So I've got two different colors of peyote. And I'm going to show you two different uh, four millimeter Swarovski bicones. I'm going to put them in this strip. I am using Miyuki beading thread. I would recommend that you use beading thread with this instead of like fire line, just because you do need a little bit of uh, wiggle room and it's not quite as stiff. And I've also got a number 10 beading needle. So I set this up to show you. And I'm just going to walk you through this. The first thing you're going to do is go over to the place where you want to put the stone. Now, you can do them close together or kind of far apart. I'm going to put you and but it's going to be an odd num odd number of beads between them. So I'm going to put five beads between each of my stones. So I sort of calculated this out in advance. Let me see if I can get this right. So where you want to put the stone, I'm going to use my contrasting color. I'm going to peyote one just to set this up. Then I'm going to peyote four, one, two, three, four. Then I'm going to put another one in. So I'm going to put another in my contrasting color. Then I'm going to peyote to the end of this strip. I did an even number just to just because I didn't want to have to deal with um, the turns. But if you you probably would use an odd number just to make sure that the same number of beads is on each side. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over. And for the second row, I'm going to put one bead, one contrasting bead on either side of the bead that I did before. The sort of place marker bead. Okay, so I'm going to put peyote again. One contrasting color bead on each side. It's going to make a little V shape. Peyote three. And then Peyote 2 in a contrasting color. This is just kind of setting you up. And I'm going to go ahead and peyote to the end of this row. Now, I know you're going to ask me if you can do this with seed beads also. The answer is yes. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Sometimes they'll be a little bit different shape from Delica's. But I'm pretty sure it would work. Okay, so we've got, we're setting up our little spaces for these bicones. Now, for the third row, whoop. hold on to it better than me. All right. There we go. I'm going to go back. And I'm going to put a 
another bead on either side, but I'm going to skip one. I'm going to start making the space for it. So I'm going to go through two. Up to the next. So now I've got five little beads in a V shape. Let's do that one more time for the next one. Okay, here we go. Contrasting color. Go down through. Now the next one, you're skipping a bead. Just don't put anything in there. Okay, go to the end of the row. Okay, for the next row, it's going to be all the background color. Watch this. We're going to set this up. We're going to come up to where our bead is going to be placed. And we're going to skip all the beads in the middle. So you're going to go down through three, back up through two. So it's still going to be five with the base color still in the background. Do that again. Go down through this little five bead V. to put our bicons in. Okay, how do we do it? Okay, we're going to peyote up to the space. To your five beads, you're going to pick up a contrasting color bead, a bicone, and another contrasting color bead. So I've got three beads here. Like that. And then you're going to go through that base color bead on the other side of the space. Look at that. So think about this. A four millimeter bicone is about the same height as three Delica beads. So it's taking the place of those of three. And these beads on the ends, they're making a little frame. Let's see that again. Pick up contrasting color, bicone, contrasting color, and go through the bead at the other end of the space. Look at that. Fantastic. Okay. Now they're sitting in there. Now we need to frame the other side of them. Okay. The first round, or the next row of framing them is pretty simple. We're going to go through, again, this is going to be all base color. And when we get to this, the bicone, we're going to go through those three beads again, treating them as one unit. Okay, all base color. Okay, here we go again. Just go through all three as one unit. Okay, now, next row, 
is the interesting part. Now we've got to close in that other side matching. Okay, how are we going to do this? Let's come up to it. Okay. What we're going to do is pick up five of the contrasting color beads and those will eventually sit right here. Three, four, five. Okay. And go in the base color bead on the other side. Okay, so it's going to look like that. It's going to look a little funny. But don't worry, we're going to fix it up. Don't pull it too tightly. Leave the tension kind of medium um, because we're going to be peyoting within those, within those beads. Let's see that again. Pick up five. One, two, three, four, five. Go over the bead and into the next up pointing bead. All right. Okay. We're back at the beginning. Now, how are we going to close all this off? Okay, we'll be up to it. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go through those five beads. We're basically mirroring what we did on the first side. But treat those five beads as one unit. So you'll just have two threads through them. Like I said, don't make it too tight. Here I'm coming up on the next ones. Just go through all five of those beads as one unit. We're setting it up. the end. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, more peyote. Now this time, when you come up to the bead, you're going to be at the fifth, the, or the first or the fifth bead. So you're going to pick up a base color and then you're going to go through three beads. See that? It's going to be making our little triangle. And you're going to put another base color peyote on the other side. See that? See how we set that up? Let's look at that again. Okay, base color is going to be next to the first bead. Go through three as one unit for peyote. And then pick up another bead and put it next to the fifth bead, the fifth of those surrounding beads. We are almost there. Look how nice that looks. Okay, now we're going to be basically doing the same thing in this row. You've got three beads here still left. Pick up a base color bead, go through the middle one. Pick up another base color bead and set it next to the first one. Look at that. Perfect. Let's look at that again. How are we going to handle those last three beads? I'm going to pretend that middle one is an up bead. Base color, go through the middle bead. Way you don't want to pull it too tight because you need to get through there. See that?
Here we go. Just one. Okay, and we're, we're pretty much, we are done. You can just keep peyoteing and waiting for the next one, and then you can put the next one in wherever you want to start it after this. I discovered this technique and um, I think it's really great. I had, I had been doing it differently. I had been making two pieces, one piece for this side, one piece for this side, and then zipping them up in the middle. But then I realized that that wasn't necessary. And I could just keep going with the same thread and not have to make separate pieces to create this effect. So this is it. I'm just finishing this up. And I really am excited to see what you all might do with this technique. If you want to use it for bracelets or necklaces or earrings, there's a lot of different things you can do with it. I don't want to tell you exactly what. Um, I'd love it if you would post some pictures on my Facebook page or uh, tag me on Instagram with whatever you come up with. I think this is a really neat technique. Like I said. And let me know how it goes. Thanks so much for watching.